Welcome to the screencast that will show you how to use the Google Takeout tool to export your data out of your Google account. The screencast is great for anyone that might be leaving the school district, staff or students, uh, and you won't have your Franklin Google account anymore and you want to take your data with you. This tool can be found by going to google.com slash takeout. It's a good suggestion to be signed in to your Google account before you go there. Again, google.com slash takeout. I'm also going to show how you can get to it from uh, within the browser. So here I am in the Chrome browser. I'm already signed into my Google account. If you go up and you click on your user up here and you go to account, this takes you to your behind the scenes information. If you go to data tools and down here to download data, it says here select data to download. This also takes you to the Google Takeout tool. This is what Google Takeout looks like. When you get here to Google Takeout, you can see here that it says I'm currently I currently have data in 17 different Google products and what this allows me to do by to, to start this process is uh, I click on this create an archive button and now I can choose which data I want to export out of my Google account. This will give me a zip file that I can then store on a flash drive or an external hard drive and take those files with me. By default all of these, let me make this a little bigger here, uh, by default all of these are checked I'm going to uncheck them by clicking on select all and I'm just going to say, you know, I just want to take my files with me. I'm going to check off Google Drive. Now you'll notice when you mouse over these tools, you have your home and office tools, you have your social tools, so your media tools. You can actually, if you have videos in your YouTube channel, you can check this. And uh, when, you, when you click these little arrows, where I was going was when you mouse over these, uh, if you click the little arrow, it gives you some details. So if I wanted to export all my YouTube videos from this channel, uh, from the channel that I've created under this account it says your videos will be provided in their original upload format so that's a great way to export all your YouTube videos at once if you've added YouTube videos to your channel uh, drive if you mouse over and you click the arrow on drive you can decide if you want to take all of your stuff in your my drive or if you want to select certain files and folders you can check box which ones you want to take so you don't necessarily have to take everything your your choice there the other thing that's here under the drive choices is when those documents or files get exported, what type of file format do you want them exported as? So if it was documents, I could choose Word. Uh, I could choose rich text format. I'd probably choose Word. That seems to open in most programs. Forms would open as an Excel. I could choose PDF, but then I wouldn't be able to edit it. Presentations, I could choose PowerPoint. Spreadsheets, Excel. Drawings, I could choose PDF, JPEG any of those I'll probably choose JPEG for those so you can hit done so now I've chosen my drive that I want to export I click on create archive and what this is telling me is that it is going to now take all of my data and combine it into a zip file uh, if your total storage is over two gigabytes this might put your files into a few zip files you'll get an email when this process is done so I'm gonna pause here uh, and then I'll, I'll reconvene once this process is done and show you how you can take that zip file and do something with it. One thing that is important to know is you don't have to sit on this page for this to happen. You can actually close this window and, and uh, you will get an email. Uh, it says right here, we will email you when your archive is ready to download. So I'll pick up there uh, when we reconvene. All right, so it's been a little bit of time. As mentioned, here is the Google Takeout email that I received. If I click on that, uh, it says that my archive is ready. I can click here. This will take me back to Google Takeout. If for some reason you don't get the email within a reasonable amount of time, this for me took, um, this probably took about maybe 15 minutes or so. Uh, you can go back to google.com slash takeout or go back through the account area up here in the user, uh, the user button that I showed earlier. When you get back here to Google Takeout, whether you click the button or, or come this way, up here it says My Archives. It says that there's one new waiting, so I'll click on that. If you did click the button from the email, that takes you right here as well. So here is the archive, and it says how big the file is. This is just about a gigabyte of information. I can click Download, and this download will begin. This is verifying that I am who I say I am, so sign back in here and the download should start. It says processing request down here in the bottom corner. I'll be asked here in a second where I want to save that file to. I'll, I'll save it to maybe my flash drive or my external hard drive. And the name of the file uh, comes up like this. I'm going to change that and just say 
uh, Google Drive Archive, save it to my desktop. And once that's done, I'll show you how that archive file, uh, how that how you can actually get those those files out of there as a zip file. So I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, so the file has finished downloading the zip file. Here it is on my Mac desktop. If you ever double click on a zip file, what this does is it takes that file, opens it up, and opens all the files and, and puts them into, I shouldn't say opens all the files, it pulls all the files out and, and creates a folder. So in a second here, when this is done finishing, you'll see a folder that'll say Google Drive Archive, and you'll actually be able to see all my all my files here. I'll show it this way instead while that's doing that. Okay, so uh, the file has unzipped. It looks like it keeps the original file name that it was earlier. So this is actually the folder. It creates a folder, like I said, in there. All the different Google apps that you've used Google Takeout for will appear. So I only chose Drive. So if I click on Drive, you can see here in the Drive folder that anything that's a Word document was a Google document prior. Uh, the, and it, all the different files have been exported, so those should open in other programs so you can take your data with you. That is how Google Takeout works. Thanks for watching.